Brahma, Sanskrit, Brahma, I -A -S -T, Brahma is a creator god in Hinduism. He has four faces. Brahma is also known as Svayambhu self-born or creative aspect of Vishnu, Vajisa Lord of Speech, and the creator of the four Vedas, one from each of his mouths. Brahma is consort of Saraswati and he is father of four Kumaras, Narada, and Daksha. Brahma is sometimes identified with the Vedic god Prajapati. He is also known as Vedanatha, god of Vedas, Ganeshwar, god of knowledge, Chitramukha, having four faces, Svayambhu, self-born, Brahmanarayana, half Brahma and half Vishnu, etc., as well as linked to Kama and Hiranyagarbha, the cosmic egg. He is more prominently mentioned in the post-Vedic Hindu epics and the mythologies in the Puranas. In the epics, he is conflated with Purusha. Although, Brahma is part of the Brahma Vishnu Shiva Trimurti, ancient Hindu scriptures mention multiple other trinities of gods or goddesses which do not include Brahma. Several Puranas describe him as emerging from a lotus, connected to the navel of Lord Vishnu. Other Puranas suggest that he is born from Shiva or his aspects, or he is a supreme god in diverse versions of Hindu mythology. Brahma, along with other deities, is sometimes viewed as a form saguna of the otherwise formless nirguna Brahman, the ultimate metaphysical reality in Vedantic Hinduism. In an alternate version, some Puranas state him to be the father of Prajapatis. Brahma does not enjoy popular worship in present age Hinduism and has lesser importance than the other members of the Trimurti, Vishnu, and Shiva. Brahma is revered in ancient texts, yet rarely worshipped as a primary deity in India. Very few temples dedicated to him exist in India, the most famous being the Brahma Temple, Pushkar in Rajasthan. Brahma temples are found outside India, such as at the Arawan Shrine in Bangkok. Origin and meaning The origins of Brahma are uncertain, in part because several related words such as one for ultimate reality Brahman, and priest Brahman are found in the Vedic literature. The existence of a distinct deity named Brahma is evidenced in late Vedic text. A distinction between spiritual concept of Brahman, and deity Brahma, is that the former is a genderless abstract metaphysical concept in Hinduism, while the latter is one of the many masculine gods in Hindu tradition. The spiritual concept of Brahman is far older, and some scholars suggest deity Brahma may have emerged as a personal conception and visible icon of the impersonal universal principle called Brahman. In Sanskrit grammar, the noun stem Brahman forms two distinct nouns. One is a neuter noun Brahman, whose nominative singular form is Brahma. This noun has a generalized and abstract meaning. Contrasted to the neuter noun is the masculine noun Brahman, whose nominative singular form is Brahma. This singular form is used as the proper name of the deity, Brahma. History Vedic literature One of the earliest mentions of Brahma with Vishnu and Shiva is in the fifth Prapathaka lesson of the Maitrayaniya Upanishad, probably composed in late 1st millennium BCE. Brahma is first discussed in verse 5, 1, also called the Kutsayana hymn, and then expounded in verse 5, 2. In the pantheistic Kutsayana hymn, the Upanishad asserts that one soul is Brahman, and this ultimate reality, cosmic universal or God is within each living being. It equates the Atman soul, self within to be Brahma and various alternate manifestations of Brahman, as follows. Thou art Brahma, thou art Vishnu, thou art Rudra Shiva, thou art Agni, Varuna, Vayu, Indra, thou art all. In the verse 5, 2, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva are mapped into the theory of guna, that is qualities, psyche and innate tendencies the text describes can be found in all living beings. This chapter of the Maitri Upanishad asserts that the universe emerged from darkness tamas, first as passion characterized by action qua action rajas, which then refined and differentiated into purity and goodness sattva. Of these three qualities, rajas is then mapped to Brahma, as follows. While the Maitri Upanishad maps Brahma with one of the elements of guna theory of Hinduism, the text does not depict him as one of the trifunctional elements of the Hindu Trimurti idea found in later Puranic literature. Post-Vedic, epics and Puranas The post-Vedic texts of Hinduism offer multiple theories of cosmogony, many involving Brahma. 
These include sarga, primary creation of universe, and visarga, secondary creation. Ideas related to the Indian thought that there are two levels of reality: one primary that is unchanging, metaphysical, and other secondary that is always changing, empirical, and that all observed reality of the latter is in an endless repeating cycle of existence. That cosmos and life we experience is continually created, evolved, dissolved, and then recreated. The primary creator is extensively discussed in Vedic cosmogonies with Brahman or Purusha or Devi among the terms used for the primary creator, while the Vedic and post-Vedic texts name different gods and goddesses as secondary creators often Brahma in post-Vedic texts, and in some cases a different god or goddess is the secondary creator at the start of each cosmic cycle Kalpa, Eon, Brahma is a secondary creator, as described in the Mahabharata and Puranas, and among the most studied and described. Born from a lotus emerging from the navel of Vishnu, Brahma creates all the forms in the universe, but not the primordial universe itself. In contrast, the Shiva-focused Puranas describe Brahma and Vishnu to have been created by Ardhanarishvara, that is half Shiva and half Parvati, or alternatively, Brahma was born from Rudra, or Vishnu, Shiva and Brahma creating each other cyclically in different eons Kalpa. Thus in most Puranic texts, Brahma's creative activity depends on the presence and power of a higher god. In the Bhagavata Purana, Brahma is portrayed several times as the one who rises from the ocean of causes. Brahma, states this Purana, emerges at the moment when time and universe is born, inside a lotus rooted in the navel of Hari deity Vishnu, whose praise is the primary focus in the Purana. The scriptures asserts that Brahma is drowsy, airs and is temporarily incompetent as he puts together the universe. He then becomes aware of his confusion and drowsiness, meditates as an ascetic, then realizes Hari in his heart, sees the beginning and end of universe, and then his creative powers are revived. Brahma, states Bhagavata Purana, thereafter combines Prakriti nature, matter, and Purusha spirit, soul, to create a dazzling variety of living creatures, and tempest of causal nexus. The Bhagavata Purana thus attributes the creation of Maya to Brahma, wherein he creates for the sake of creation, imbuing everything with both the good and the evil, the material and the spiritual, a beginning and an end. The Puranas describe Brahma as the deity creating time. They correlate human time to Brahma's time, such as a Mahakalpa being a large cosmic period, correlating to one day and one night in Brahma's existence. The stories about Brahma in various Puranas are diverse and inconsistent. In Skanda Purana, for example, goddess Parvati is called the mother of the universe, and she is credited with creating Brahma, gods and the three worlds. She is the one, states Skanda Purana, who combined the three gunas, sattva, rajas and tamas, into matter prakriti to create the empirically observed world. The Vedic discussion of Brahma as a rajas quality god expands in the Puranic and Tantric literature. However, these texts state that his wife Saraswati has sattva quality of balance, harmony, goodness, purity, holistic, constructive, creative, positive, peaceful, virtuous, thus complementing Brahma's rajas quality of passion, activity, neither good nor bad and sometimes either, action qua action, individualizing, driven, dynamic. Iconography Brahma is traditionally depicted with four faces and four arms. Each face of his points to a cardinal direction. His hands hold no weapons, rather symbols of knowledge and creation. In one hand he holds the sacred texts of Vedas, in second he holds mala rosary beads symbolizing time, in third he holds a sruva or shruk, ladle type symbolizing means to feed sacrificial fire, and in fourth a kamandalu, utensil with water symbolizing the means where all creation emanates from. His four mouths are credited with creating the four Vedas. He is often depicted with a white beard, implying his sage-like experience. He sits on lotus, dressed in white or red, pink, with his vehicle Vahana, Hansa, a swan or goose, nearby. Chapter 51 of Manasara Silpasastra, an ancient design manual in Sanskrit for making murti in temples, states that a Brahma statue should be golden in color. The text recommends that the statue have four faces and four arms, have jata mukuta mandita matted hair of an ascetic, and wear a diadem crown. Two of his hands should be in refuge granting and gift giving mudra, while he should be shown with kundika water pot, akshamala rosary, and a small and a large sruk sruva ladles used in yajna ceremonies. 
The text details the different proportions of the murti, describes the ornaments, and suggests that the idol wear chira bark strip as lower garment, and either be alone or be accompanied with goddesses Saraswati on his right and Gayatri on his left. Brahma's wife is the goddess Saraswati. She is considered to be the embodiment of his power, the instrument of creation and the energy that drives his actions." In some texts Gayatri is considered as second wife of Lord Brahma. Avatars There is no reference to Brahma avatar in Puranic text, as Brahma is not worshipped by Hindus. However modern historian quote Haridasa Thakur is one of the avatar of Brahma. Temples India Very few temples in India are primarily dedicated to Lord Brahma and his worship. The most prominent Hindu temple for Brahma is the Brahma Temple, Pushkar. Other temples include a temple in Asotra village, Balotra Taluka of Rajasthan's Barmer district known as Keteshwar Brahmadam Tirtha. Brahma is also worshipped in temple complexes dedicated to the Trimurti, Uthamar Koval, Ponmari Shiva Temple, in Tirunavaya, the Thripaya Trimurti Temple and Mithranathapuram Trimurti Temple. In Tamil Nadu, Brahma temples exist in the temple town of Kumbakonam, in Kodamudi and within the Brahmapuraiswarar temple in Tirukkirappalli. There is a temple dedicated to Brahma in the temple town of Srikalahasti near Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh. There are a Chaturmukha Brahma temple in Chebrolu, Andhra Pradesh, and a seven feet height of Chaturmukha four faces Brahma temple at Bangalore, Karnataka. In the coastal state of Goa, a shrine belonging to the 5th century, in the small and remote village of Karambolim, Satari Taluka in the northeast region of the state is found. A famous icon of Brahma exists at Mangalweda, 52 km from the Solapur district of Maharashtra and in Sopara near Mumbai. There is a 12th century temple dedicated to him in Kedbrahma, Gujarat, and also a Brahma Kuti temple in Kanpur. Temples exist in Kokan, Anamputhar, and Hosur. Southeast Asia A shrine to Brahma can be found in Cambodia's Angkor Wat. One of the three largest temples in the 9th century Prambanan temples complex in Yogyakarta, Central Java Indonesia, is dedicated to Brahma, the other two to Shiva largest of three, and Vishnu respectively. The temple dedicated to Brahma is on southern side of Shiva temple. A statue of Brahma is present at the Arawan Shrine in Bangkok, Thailand and continues to be revered in modern times. The Golden Dome of the Government House of Thailand houses a statue of Phra Fram Thai representation of Brahma. An early 18th century painting at Wat Yai Sawanaram in Phetchaburi city of Thailand depicts Brahma, the name of the country Burma may be derived from Brahma. In medieval texts, it is referred to as Brahma Desa. East Asia Brahma is a popular deity in Chinese folk religion and there are numerous temples devoted to the god in China and Taiwan. Brahma is known in Chinese as Simian Shen, si mian ten, four faced god, or Fantian, Fantian Shang's Pa in Tibetan and Bandan in Japanese. Difference between Brahma, Brahman, Brahman and Brahmanas Brahma, Sanskrit, Brahma, Brahma is distinct from Brahman. Brahma is a male deity, in the post-Vedic Puranic literature, who creates but neither preserves nor destroys anything. He is envisioned in some Hindu texts to have emerged from the metaphysical Brahman along with Vishnu preserver, Shiva destroyer, all other gods, goddesses, matter and other beings. In theistic schools of Hinduism where deity Brahma is described as part of its cosmology, he is immortal like all gods and goddesses, and dissolves into the abstract immortal Brahman when the universe ends, then a new cosmic cycle Kalpa restarts. The deity Brahma is mentioned in the Vedas and the Upanishads but is uncommon, while the abstract Brahman concept is predominant in these texts, particularly the Upanishads. In the Puranic and the epics literature, deity Brahma appears more often, but inconsistently. 
Some texts suggest that God Vishnu created Brahma, others suggest God Shiva created Brahma, yet others suggest Goddess Devi created Brahma, and these texts then go on to state that Brahma is a secondary creator of the world working respectively on their behalf. Further, the medieval era texts of these major theistic traditions of Hinduism assert that the Saguna representation with face and attributes Brahma is Vishnu, Shiva, or Devi respectively, and that the Atman soul, self within every living being is the same or part of this ultimate, eternal Brahman. Brahman, Sanskrit, Brahman, Brahman is a metaphysical concept of Hinduism referring to the ultimate reality. According to Doniger, the Brahman in the Hindu thought is the uncreated, eternal, infinite, transcendent, the cause, the foundation, the source and the goal of all existence. Brahman, Sanskrit, Brahmana Brahman is a varna in Hinduism specializing in theory as priests, preservers and transmitters of sacred literature across generations. The Brahmanas, or Brahmana Granthas, Sanskrit, Brahmanagrantha Brahmana are one of the four ancient layers of texts within the Vedas. They are primarily a digest incorporating stories, legends, the explanation of Vedic rituals and in some cases philosophy. They are embedded within each of the four Vedas, and form a part of the Hindu Sruti literature. See also Notes and references equals 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 notes